biosphere. What is the biosphere? It is the sphere or area around the earth where life exists. Bio means life and you know what sphere means. So biosphere means the sphere of life. The biosphere is the life zone of the earth. All living things including man are part of the biosphere. Do you remember the three other spheres on earth? Lithosphere, the sphere of land, atmosphere, the sphere of air and hydrosphere, the sphere of water. The atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere are all non-living components of the earth. They are also called abiotic components. Abiotic means non-living. The biosphere is a living component. So we call it a biotic component. Biotic means living. All living things are created from the abiotic or non-living spheres and depend on them for all their needs. Where does life exist? Mostly, it is near the surface of the earth. Organisms need food, air and water to survive. The temperature also should be good enough to live in. So, living things are found where all these things are available. The biosphere extends to some height in the atmosphere to some depth in the sea and the ground. But there are more living things close to the surface of the earth. The living things do not just live on the earth. They also interact with it. In fact, they are responsible for making great changes in the way the earth has evolved. About one-fifth of our atmosphere is oxygen. The earth did not have that much in the air from the beginning. So where did it come from? It was trapped in the sea, rocks and soil. Gradually, the plants increased it and made it possible for animals to live. The living things change the non-living things in many ways. Roots hold the soil and prevent it from being washed into the sea. Mangroves reduce the speed of the water. Animals like beavers build dams which change river directions. So, without living things, earth would have probably been different. The sun gives energy to the earth. Green plants use this energy to make food. They make food in sunlight. This is known as photosynthesis. Since they make their own food, they are called autotrophs. Some animals eat these plants and get energy. Some animals eat these animals. All living things that need to depend on other living things to get food are known as heterotrophs. When all these living things die, they decompose and their energy goes back into the soil. There is a balance among the different things found in the environment. Energy is taken by living things used to live and grow and on death returned to the environment. It is this balance that makes life on earth possible. On our planet, there are more than 600,000 different types of plants and over 1 million different kinds of animals. It is impossible to study each one and its impact on the environment. So scientists have grouped them. The two main groups are flora and fauna. Animals are known as fauna. Plants are known as flora. The third group is microorganisms. Those are really tiny living things that we can only see with a microscope. The flora and fauna in an area are known as ecosystem. 